It's two o'clock in the morning at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve. And on one of my nighttime explorations, I've come across a juvenile solifuge. It's very rare to see these motionless like this one is being at the moment, as they are incredibly quick predators that chase down their prey. Uh, juveniles like this are not commonly seen during the daytime at all. And usually the adults are also pretty secretive, hiding in the cover of shade. But to come across this one, to give you an idea of the size, it's little more than a centimeter or so in length. So a very fortunate sighting of it. It looks almost like a cross between a scorpion and a spider. And there it goes. Very fast movers usually. It's extending its front legs out in front of it as it hunts for various creatures. It will even eat other solifuges if it comes across them. They've got a lot of reputations, one of them being running after people. And this may seem like a myth, but it is in fact true because the solifuge, also known as the sun spider by some, or camel spider, sonspinnekap, haarkapper, baartskeerder, roman, various names locally, chases the shade to get out of the heat because they usually occur in very hot semi-desert climates. Throughout Africa, I've known of reports of them, and they have a lot of interesting reputations. One of them is, in fact, that they produce no silk of their own, and so rely on the hairs of mammals, and they will make nests out of these hairs. So quite commonly, they will actually trim the hair off people or other animals in an area and make nests with this. So when they have actually been encountered, quite commonly that's to people's horror when they wake up with one of these busy harvesting hair from them. They've got very powerful jaws but no venom and they basically have scissor-like action, two on the lower part of the jaw and two on the top which slice through prey very quickly.